Hello, everybody. Now, as promised, this is lesson number three or lesson number four. I have no clue. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about the Asian algorithmic delivery. It's going to be quite simple. You probably heard it somewhere, right? But I have my own little, you know, understandings behind it. Now, again, I had a comment. I think I, I think I deleted it. I don't know. It, I, it just disappeared. Um, saying that, you know, <clears throat> this is just regurgitated ICT information, blah, 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 blah. Man, everyone learned from ICT, but my understandings evolved from that point, right? You see so many people still using uh, fair value gaps, liquid avoid, blah, 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 all that stuff, right? And they, a chart is a chart. If with enough study, right, some guy or some girl can easily grasp this same level of information by literally putting hours and hours and hours into chart work, right? They can call a fair value gap something else. They can call an order block something else. They can call a liquidity pool something else, right? No one has copyrighted or patented or trademarked anything on the chart, right? I mean, if someone did, then sorry. <laughs> but no, I, to, to my knowledge, no one has, okay? Um, yeah. So it's my YouTube channel. I'll do whatever the fuck I want. If you wanna, if you wanna watch, you can watch. If you don't wanna, you can strip fuck right off. All right. Anyways, for the guys that wanna watch this and for the guys that wanna learn something, which I'm giving for free, by the way. Uh, obviously not the deep details, but whatever I can. Right here you go. Asian algorithmic delivery by Shawnee Trade Effects. <laughs> All right. Okay. So I don't know why this is not working. Let me just press. Okay. The purpose of the Asian session. So, as you all know. Price is a function of liquidity, right? Meaning that where there is liquidity, highs and lows, buy side liquidity, sell side liquidity, price will be drawn to these liquidity pools. Now, there's a whole ass explanation. There's a lot of logic behind it about willing buyers, willing sellers, bid, the ask, all of that, right? So whereby price is actually drawn to these levels so that there will be a fill of orders by large institutions, hedge funds, mutual funds, central banks, all of those guys, right? Different entities have won different prices. And as a result, there will be orders going into the system, right? In a period, in, inside of a certain time intervals, every day, during every session, uh, which will then lead to a supposed drawn liquidity. And then when I say drawn liquidity, obviously from ICT, you guys know, the price moves in that particular uh, direction, right? So it's drawn to that liquidity pool, may it be, uh, may it be a buy side liquidity, may it be sell side liquidity, and sometimes also the actual fill of a gap, a liquidity void, a gap, fair value gap, whatever you want to call it, that is also a drawn liquidity. Okay, because when we consider highs and lows, buy side and sell side, right, we are essentially looking at buy stops and sell stops. So, what about the orders that reside inside of in, in, imbalances, fair value gaps, liquidity voids, inefficiencies? What about them? Yeah, those are limit orders. Okay, so that is also a form of liquidity, right? Because they are orders in and of themselves. Okay, so getting on to what Asia does. Asia generates liquidity. Okay, one of them. So it, that's seen by small bodies, consolidations. And like I've always mentioned over the past few videos, wiki price action. I'm pretty sure I spelled that wrong, but who cares? Okay, yeah, wiki price action. Okay, so again, small bodies, consolidations, wiki price action. Because you guys know that whenever there are small bodies and there's a lot of consolidations, it leads to what an expansion, reversal, retracement, whatever, right? Then, secondly, the rate it trades important liquidity pools, so displacements into points of interest or liquidity pools, so displacements into your bearish order blocks, bullish order blocks, or whatever you want to call it, or liquidity pools. Okay, so Asia does one of those two things. Okay, Asia does one of those two things, <clears throat> right? So something like this. So this is your Asia and price displaces into a POI and then starts to move. So that's like an Asia that moves a large range Asia. And then you have something like this, where a liquidity pool exists above or a fair value gap point of interest, whatever thing is above over there or below over here, but price is within that. Okay, price is generating liquidity like this, all right? What is an algorithm? Now I've seen a lot of videos whereby, you know, everyone is saying this is the algorithm, that is an algorithm, trade like this, like an algorithm, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Let me tell you guys what it actually is. What is an algorithm? 
basic computer science. An algorithm is a set of instructions that gets the freaking job done. <laughs> it's a set of instructions that has an end goal, right? How do you get the number four by adding two plus two? So what's the set of instructions? You want to add two and two. Oh, what, what else can you do? You can add three to one. What else can you do? You can add four to zero. You still get four. So what is the, what is the set of instructions that went into it to produce this four? Addition. The plus, the plus sign, the addition sign, right? They're adding two numbers together to get that desired outcome of the number four. All right. So when we speak of algorithmic trading, we're referring to rule-based trading that up to some extent mimics the steps taken by the actual algorithm running the markets. So when we talk about these rule-based trading methods, right? So it's something like, you know, break our market structure, we fill the gap, and then we move to a certain buy side liquidity pool. Let's say that. We are breaking highs, price comes back into the range. Okay, so step one is what? Breaking the high. Step two is price coming back into the range. Step three is filling a, filling a gap. Step four is what? Buying. Step five is keeping your take profit at uh, buy side liquidity. Step six is watch price, either hit your stop loss or hit your take profit, which is the buy side liquidity pool. So what is price doing? Price is taking steps in order to reach that buy side liquidity pool. So then step one is break of market structure. Step two is return to the range at proper valuation, as you guys know by now. Step three is go to an order block or fill a fair value gap. Step four is moving away from that order block or fair value gap, imbalance, inefficiency, demand, whatever. Step five is what? Run to buy side liquidity those that's that's rule based that is an algorithm that is algorithmic trading if this then that if price breaks market structure then i'm going to be looking for this if price fills in the fair value gap liquidity pool liquidity void sorry not liquidity pool liquidity void uh, imbalance reaches an order block then i'm going to be buying so it's all about if and then all right so according to ict right in a circle trader michael j halston price is moving to fill inefficiencies Right, price is the goal of price is moving to fill inefficiencies to moving to read liquidity in order to neutralize existing positions and initiate new ones because price is always moving, right? So, meaning when existing positions have been neutralized, then there are new positions in the marketplace that lead to price movement. Okay, so they need to have some form of logical sequence to them, right? Yeah, and these logical sequences are what gets the supposed job done. And what's, the, what's, what's considered a job done? A rate of liquidity or a fill of an inefficiency? Now that is ICT. Okay, so I don't know, I don't know about telling you guys all that, but uh, you want you want anything to do with this piece of information? You can watch ICT shit. All right. Algorithmically trading Asia. Okay, so the major details are not in the scope of the YouTube domain, meaning I can't speak about it in public. Sorry.com. But here's what will be available to you. All right, so you have to ask yourself the following. You have to ask yourself to check the following signatures in price from 7 p.m. EST to 12.30 a.m. EST. Don't ask me why that time interval. Okay. So number one, did Asia raid an important liquidity pool? So did it take out previous days high? Did it take out previous days low? You have to ask yourself that. Now that is not the only scope. I mean, that's not the scope of an important liquidity pool. There's more, right? But again, you know what I'm going to say. Right, so for now, what's available to you is previous days high and the previous days low. Okay, previous days high and the previous days low. So did Asia raid one of these liquidity pools? Right? Did Asia number two? Did Asia lead price into an unmitigated point of interest? Meaning, when Asia started, did price go into uh, an order block? Did it go into a fair value gap? It's something that's important. Some that something that's on a high time frame. If it did go there, then obviously you're going to get a sizable reaction. Right? It's going, you're going to get a sizable reaction. Number three, is there a logical sequence of price action that the previous New York session failed to complete? Now, what do I mean by that? Let's say the previous New York session broke market structure to the downside and it just consolidated. So it, it was going down and then it consolidated ended the day. So what's, what happens next? Asia would retrace back into that range. Number one, step one, retrace back into that range during Asia and then you get a sell-off. Okay, now that's that's a step-by-step -step approach. 
price breaks market structure uh, during previous New York session. Price did not do anything until the day ended. So during Asia, the next step that I'm going to be looking for price to do or for price to complete is to retrace back into that broken range at the proper valuation. And then you're going to be stalking shorts, sells. Okay. So these are the three signatures in price action you should be looking for. <clears throat> Ideal Asian session conditions, obviously small ranges, wiki price action, because you know that when you have these small ranges and wiki price action, the resulting move during the next few sessions or the next two sessions rather, London and New York, uh, is going to be large. Okay, it's going to be large. So this is under the theory that small ranges, ranges lead to large expansions. Your daily range would be better and you would have better opportunities by CT and also Larry Williams spoke about inside days. Okay, so consolidations are something like inside days. Something like that. Not exactly, but something like that. And also large Asian ranges tend to give large range days as well because if you consider something like this, okay, when you have a large Asian range, that is part of a larger retracement, right? So for example, the Asian range retraces into a range, goes into a point of interest, and obviously London is going to continue that supposed trend. Okay, London is going to continue that supposed trend, maybe a bearish trend. So it goes up, it rallies just to sell off. So when you have large range Asian, large Asian ranges like that, then obviously, uh, depending on the contextual framework, you're going to have a nice rundown uh, further along during the day. Okay, so that is subject to current institutional market structure, ICT stuff, and available liquidity from an algo level. And when I talk about algo level, it is about how an algorithm defines just what an important liquidity pool is. Okay, again, out, out of the scope of this YouTube channel. All right, example time. All right, so let's go and look at some examples. Here you go. All right, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you guys to Euro USD, I guess that's better. Okay, Euro USD. So for Euro USD, let's look at all of the Asia's, right? Right. So let's look at this week's price action. As you guys know, I don't believe in going back and doing all that bullshit. So this is Friday, Wednesday, uh, sorry, Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday. All right. Look at this. <clears throat> this here, this is an ideal Asian session. Okay, this is an ideal Asian range. Now the question is, how do I trade it, right? How are you gonna trade it? All right, look at this. Price goes down. This down close candle, right? Here's your down close candle. So what's that condition? The condition is inside of Asia, you wanna see a price. Did, did Asia or did Asia lead price into a point of interest? Yes, it did. Bye. Okay, bye. Now you're gonna use your brain, you're gonna understand that it's not a big expansion. So you're going to have to cut your trade over here. Awesome. As it comes down and goes back up, you're going to cut your trade there. Okay. Because this is not what you want to see. You don't, you don't have the displacement, right? Yeah. You don't have the displacement. So that's, that, that, that's one trade though. That's still one trade. Okay. So it goes up and that's done. Goes into point of interest and that's done. That's Asia for you. Okay. And you can see it's a small range led to a large a, a, a large uh, trading, a, a large daily trading range. Okay. It led to a large daily range. How many pips from the high of the day to the low of the day? Uh, 60. For Euro USD, that's pretty large. I guess that's Monday. Then Tuesday. Okay. For Tuesday, now we have to ask ourselves what is price? What has price been doing? Okay. Price is going down. Goes up. And boom. Now over here, but over here, price is just expanding, 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 right? And then it takes out the previous day's low. Is it a previous day's low? Yes. Takes out the previous day's low. So what was the what was the uh, condition? Did Asia take out uh, important an important liquidity pool? Yes, here. So where's your buy? Down here inside micro market structure. One minute, five minute, one minute, three minute rather. You have a buy here. Okay, you know, and obviously you're not gonna expect large Asian expansions after a move like this, right? Obviously, you've got to use your brain for that. So expansion, and then there's a small buy over here in this candle to be exact over here. Maybe like 10 pips, hopefully. Let's see. Uh, yes, 10 pips should be fine. Yeah, so that's more than enough. 
14 pips total, 14.5 pips total, uh, 10 pips is more than enough, okay? That's a buy. And again, I'm not focusing on other sessions, only Asia, okay? So here, and like I said, Asia, even though the Asian range is large, it can lead to what? Large range days, if the context is right. And you can see that, it's exactly what we got. Okay, it's exactly what we got. Wednesday, another small Asian range. All right, uh, we go lower. What do we take out? Nothing of importance because this is, while this is okay, this is a PM trend price action. You can use this, you can use this order block over here. Fine, if you want to use that, you can use that. Price comes into a point of interest, there's a buy. Okay, price comes into a point of interest and there's a buy. Simple. Okay, simple as that. Now, what you define as a point of interest is up to you. Okay, what you define as a point of interest is up to you. But this is a bearish, a bullish order block. Sorry, bullish order block over here. That's Wednesday. Thursday. Ah, here. Thursday, look. And also, before I get to Thursday, look at the small range, lead to a large, led to a large range. This is large range, led to a small range day. Okay, so what happens here? Asia makes a high over here and it drops so over here what can you see takes out these highs right goes into what look to your left here this up close candle so you can see it goes into a poi and as a sell. then the resulting uh, the resulting uh, daily range is small because we got that expansion which is not the ideal asian session that we want to be looking for but still, we got that consolidation. So when you have these kind of days, you have multiple opportunities during the other sessions, but you got to work them on the one minute, sub one minute chart, one minute or below one minute, okay? That's that. Then Friday, large range led to a large range. So large range Asia led to a large range London and uh, New York, all right? Led to a, London, uh, led to a large range London uh, and New York, all right? So over here, Asia starts, so Asia starts, consolidates. But does it go to a POI? No. So do we do anything? No. Price goes up. And we have to see where's price going into. Let's see here, nothing. Price up one more time over here. This is unmitigated. This is an unmitigated portion of a bearish order block over here. And got this so it goes into a POI just as Asia was completing its session and you get that sell-off and it was a, it was a sell-off for the entire daily range okay yes it's hindsight man what to do <laughs> All right, that's how i learned okay that's how i learned perfect price action okay so this is an example these, these are the examples i wanted to go through with you guys so you're not going to get anything by watching me do it so you gotta put in the work look at your asian session and as uh let me remind you guys as to what the time interval is the time interval is asian session Time interval is between 7 p.m. EST to 12.30 a.m. EST, all right? Don't ask me why, it is as it is, all right? So with that, guys, I hope you liked it. If you don't like it, you're free to get lost. Um, you guys can join my uh, public Telegram channel. I haven't been really, really active on that for a bit because I'm focusing on the private group uh, uh, for now, at least. And yeah, if you like this video, right like comment and subscribe hopefully you got something from this if not then i'm sorry what to do yeah so with that guys remember if the market is algorithmic your trading can surely be objective see you guys in the next one where we discuss london algorithmic price delivery bye bye and peace